Back in um, 19, I believe, 82 or 83, I uh, came to the NAMM show to hang out and I was a huge fan of, actually he was almost like a mentor to me, Anthony Jackson. So as I was roaming the, the, uh, the hall, I came upon Ken Smith's booth and I saw Anthony Jackson's model and I'm like, okay, that's what I want. And at the time, um, you know, it was just sort of out of reach because his building time was like, what, four to six months. It took a long time to get it. So uh, at that time, it was only a dream. It's like, man, I really want to get one of these. So when he went into full production, actually making that design and that model, um, he st it still took a while. So he called me and said, hey, Melvin, I have a... I have a base from another customer who decided he wanted to go another direction with uh, the different woods. So I have it here if you want it. And I'm like, uh, Mr. Smith, he said, please call me Ken. <laughs> and I said, okay, that's what I want, ship it. So he shipped it to me. And again, that's the base I used in uh, Coming to America. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's how long that's been. Yeah. And then, um, so, what made you decide to uh, <clears throat> gravitate toward the six-string bass and the multi-string bass? <laughs> the contrabass? Yeah, You're talking contrabass, yeah. Anthony. I mean, I um, when I was playing with Lee Rittenauer, uh, most of the gigs that I've done in, the, in during that period were Shaka Khan, Lee Rittenauer, and um, uh, Simon Phillips. Well, Simon Phillips came a little later, but. Anthony had put his footprint on all of those gigs. So, and by that time, you know, six string. So I wanted this six string because he had one. I'm like, okay. And and um, there were a couple of songs that he and Lee Rittenauer did as a duo. And you just couldn't do it on a four string comfortably. So he and I had a discussion and uh, I told Lee, I said, like, hey, man, I gotta get a six string. Because at that time I had just joined this band and I really wanted to, uh, I really want to expand. You know, I wanted to have the idea or at least the range that Anthony had so that I could sort of uh, attack, if you will, for the lines that he was playing with Lee. You know, thus came the, the, the 28 and 30 fret bass from Ken. So this is the one I've recorded, I've used. I mean, I, I, I own, I think, maybe five or six, seven strings I can. But this is the main, this is the baby. This is the one that I record, and the, the recent one that he made for me, which was more of a vintage style, Ken Smith bass, um, seven string. Also an ebony. I, I, um, I'm kind of a fan of ebony, ebony maple combinations. So the two bases that I've had made were, uh, that are my favorites. I mean, I love them all, but um, the ones, my go-to for recording session is this one and another uh, ebony seven string, but a vintage style um, body. Only in here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you don't use the boost that much. The, the series parallel. No. This, this is pretty much how wow. it happens. Wow. Okay. What does it sound like? It does. It's got natural punch anyway. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. But that's yeah. the wood. It's yeah. just the wood, man. Yeah. I mean, it's like this ebony is so it's so thick. And all the I'm, sevens come like, like this. I would never, you know, it's like I, right. especially in the studio, I'd rather just have it. But a lot of that too is because of of um, listening to listening to Anthony. I mean, you know, he doesn't have to, uh, tone controls. His so, tone is almost like a drier. Exactly. Type of so, song. so when you, I'm here. You I mean you hear it? Exactly. Okay. And this is like that would, that would just be. You know what I mean? It's there. Right. But it would be right. too thick. It's right. and, and so I, I like having it. This and usually they're they're um wow. they're telling me that you know I, I would rather. Uh, 
in the house, they're saying, man, I don't even have to put an EQ on you. Wow. So it's a natural, because you're, you're dealing with subwoofers. Right. You're dealing with the lows, mid, and highs, right? right? So if you got a good subwoofer, man, and you're just giving it just dry tone, I mean, it's, you know what I mean? It's giving you that versus having that making it, it's there, but it's muddier to me, to me, my right, ears, right, you know what I mean? Right. Now, on a cheap bass, you may want to, you know, but uh, turn everything up. Exactly. Everything up. Left, left, left. <laughs> exactly. Right. But this, this has right. such a great sound by itself, you know. And then, like, so the way you have your pickup set, do you even touch the pickups like to raise it or lower it, or do you no, it when straight Ken, out of the box? It, when Ken, when Ken, uh, I won't. No, actually, I, no. When Ken, when he sets it up, that's it. Because unless, unless there's a, there's a, a sense of the tone being uneven, like when I go from here, and this is like not, then I might, but I haven't had to. Okay. You know what I mean? That to me, that's the other instruments. You know right, what I mean? It's right, like, I, right. you know, I have a few older instruments that aren't Kinsmen. And those you have to really tweak and, and you know, so you're playing here. And as soon as you get down here, it's like, the, the, the B is like exceptionally louder than the rest of it. Okay, right. so now you got to make an adjustment. I, I haven't had to do that with this, wow. you know? Wow. Yeah, so... I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the saddle sometimes because yeah, it's a seven string yeah. and the neck is so wide, yeah. different climates. When I go to London, there's right. a whole lot of adjustment going on. So you'll detune it? Yeah, no, you get, yeah, yeah. but I mean, when you get to, because the neck is so wide, yeah. um, especially my 30 fret, right. when I when I get to London, the neck, you know, as all wood does, it starts to act different according to the climate. So then I start, you know, I'll get the truss rod and tweak it, you know, right, right. that sort of thing. Davis on bass. 